by day, it's just a regular mansion. An actual haunted mansion. But by night, at least by this night, it's going to transform into the other kind of haunted mansion. Not the one with real ghosts, the, the, though the real ghosts do reside here. But it's also going to be turned into a haunted attraction. Why? Because it's close to Halloween. Even in the daytime, this place is kind of menacing looking. But in a few hours, we'll be able to walk right through these doors and enjoy some spectacular, spooktacular fun. I know Metropolis, Illinois is known for the home of Superman, which rightfully so. I mean, it's called Metropolis, Illinois, and Superman's, well, from Metropolis. So, go figure. But if I was mayor, if I was mayor of this town, I think I would take advantage of the October holiday season and really drive in tourism, making this a Halloween town. Just, just, I mean, look at the architecture. They have a lot of abandoned buildings in this town that could be put to good haunted house goodness use. Like, like this old bank. Could you imagine a haunted house in there? All the chipped up paint along all the buildings in this town just gives it that amazing, scary feel. Another amazing building in this, a building in this town, man, I'm stuttering, is the old Mazek Theater. Could you imagine having a haunted attraction within there? Have some high school kids like do a remake of the psycho shower scene? keep it on loop on the screen as people would walk through those beautiful old doors into an amazing haunted attraction. We're trying to raise money to bring this theater, this amazing theater back to life. What better way to do it than have a haunted attraction inside and uh, letting people give donations. That would be amazing. You could revitalize this town just you could, you could revitalize the whole town just during the Halloween season. Said they are trying to save this awesome theater. So if you do want to help, help restore this historic landmark, you can go to www.savethemazak.org. It needs a little love and care. This is an amazing piece of movie history. One of these days, I don't know if it's going to be today, it is a Sunday, but I'm going to get the keys and take you guys inside. It just, I don't know if you guys can see through the glass, but it looks spooky. To be outdone, here's another haunted building. The courthouse. They even... Did some ghost hunter episodes on television about this place. Definitely a big enough building, very large, for a decent October Halloweeny haunt. The main resident in this town, he he always stays in costume, so it, it, it's like the perfect Halloween town. All right, guys, we're done. I, I went and did what I had to do. In, in town and now we're back back at one of my favorite buildings in town Riverview Mansion and it is a bed and breakfast if anybody wants to stay here I suggest it the owners are freaking amazing uh, you, you can check out them out let's see what's the phone number 618-524-5328 anyway what's going on is the cheerleaders there's a cheerleader group were they high school or not high school high school so a high school cheerleaders are doing a fundraiser and the Riverview Mansion is letting them put on a haunted house inside their actual real haunted mansion, which is 
a bed and breakfast also. So I'm going to take you guys inside and uh, maybe they'll let me record a little bit here and there. I don't want to record the whole thing because I want to enjoy it also. But maybe I'll click in here and there and show you guys a little bit of it. So what are we waiting for? Let, let's go. I, I didn't show you behind the scenes yet. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're inside talking. I'm getting ready to take you guys into an incredible spooky experience, which is crazy because I haven't really shot any Halloween video goodness yet. Look at this. The Riverview Mansion. Google it. Don't look. Don't look over there, guys. Don't look. Okay. Ready, guys? Let's go get spooked out. Here we go. The spooks are out. You ready, Meg? Morgan? Meg? Yeah. Why do I call you Megan? I don't know. Because That's my dyslexia. Morgan, the captain. I know who you are. Okay. It's already getting spooky. There's people eating out front. Pumpkin <laughs> seeds, presumably. I don't know. Okay. Well, no, if, there, if someone's going to jump out with an axe, they're going to get you before me. Then you need to go. No, no, no. <laughs> Hello. Haunted house here. Haunted. Go past the graveyard and through the gate. The ghost will know what to do. Okay. Okay, he's. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid, guys. He said the word ghost, right? The ghost yeah. don't know what to do? Yeah. That That's. <sighs> Is that the ghost that knows what to do? That's one of them. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second. What are you? You're knocking my hat off. Damn. That camera's loud. Oh, you guys got me. Oh, go on. You almost, you almost go. You started. Go. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying. I think you're scaring me more. And the ghouls. I'm, I'm trying. I'm old. Hello. I'm old. It takes, it takes me a minute to get up the stairs. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's, it's dark and spooky in here. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm having the best time. <laughs> <laughs> I did I ever tell you? I'm scared. I laugh. And I'm <laughs> you want to play a game? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe clown baseball. Here's the bat right here. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. You laugh. Go in front and laugh. <laughs> Doctor Giggles. Why are you leaving me so fast? <laughs> now where do we go? I don't know. Ups no, we don't go upstairs. Where do we go? This way? I Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go. You go. Okay. Oh. Oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> where do we go? Oh, we go out. Oh. <laughs> okay, I just got a cap. <laughs> In the <laughs> Are you gonna let us out? <laughs> For a kid haunted house, that was pretty good. Yeah. They did a they did a really good job. That was amazing. So look at that money box. No, you don't need to open it, but that Muppet thing is cool. <laughs> it's sweet. That's right. It was great seeing you again, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna go back in and grab my scones and I will see you. Next trip up.